Hey everyone, it's Christina from Offroad Addiction here to show you the Combat 4x4 fuel door assembly that was sent to me. So thank you Combat for that as well. Fancy Combat knife. So this is the fuel door assembly from Combat. This is for the JL. It's the laser engraved logo on there. Really nice, really sharp. So the JL Rubicons already come with the fuel door here, but the Sports and the Saharas come with this open, so it'll be perfect for anybody who has purchased a Sport or a Sahara edition, so you can upgrade to having the fancy door on there. So these will be the tools that you'll need to change out the fuel door. So you will need a T40 Torx bit, fancy for the plastic little screw as well as a little pick or you can use a flathead screwdriver. So the first thing we're going to do here is take off the gas cap and we are going to use the pick here and actually remove this right from the whole assembly. So the next thing we need to do is remove the tail light here. We need to remove this to actually access the fuel door to remove it and put the new one in. To take the tail light out, we are gonna get into the inside of the Jeep and remove it or start removing it from there. The next step that we wanna do is come inside the Jeep. You wanna find this fun little cover here and you want to gently remove it. Perfect, okay. And then there's gonna be a plastic screw in here that you want to remove. So right back to here. And that's what you wanna take out right there. So the next thing we want to do is remove the tail light here. So you wanna hold it and pull it one clip from the side and then the whole thing will pull right out. Before you drop that down, you wanna unhook that. So from here, you wanna pull the little red button down. Next thing to do is to remove the old fuel door assembly. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna put your hand inside where the tail light was. You're gonna look for initially the clip closest to you over here. You're gonna feel with your thumb and you're gonna push it in and pull with your left hand. Once you get all four clips, you can just pull it out. There's actually going to be the little rubber gasket on the filler. You can gently pull that right out. Hold one, throw away. You want to keep that rubber gasket in there. So ours is a little filled with oil. We got the Jeep oiled and apparently the plastic might rust. I'm kidding. So you wanna remove that and then clean it right up. And then you're gonna put that right into your brand new combat fuel door assembly. So first things first, you wanna line up this little tab here with this right here. Look at that. Hmm. Our next step is putting the gas cap back in. You want to pop that right back in. We're going to go in and put in our tail light now. Next step, we're going to reassemble our tail light here. So you want to clip your pieces back in. Don't forget to put the little red button up, that safety. You're gonna find your two little studs and line them up here. And then put it all back in. And then we're just gonna wrap this up now. Last step here, we want to put these two pieces back together. I don't know where the other piece went. So you want to start this with your hand. and then go in and finish that off. Last step, that little piece there. Ta-da! 
ta-da! And there you have it. Really super easy install of the Combat 4x4 fuel door assembly.